Hi, JDL Brushes here, and we have a new video. Um, so this time we're working on a fashion sketch <laughs> again. Uh, and as you can see, my laptop is actually uh, struggling with the marker strokes because uh, I'm actually using my old laptop because my newer PC actually broke down. And uh, I'm waiting for some repair jobs for the PC. So for now, I'm using my old laptop. And uh, yeah. So uh, I was actually kind of struggling with how I would color this piece. Because uh, she does have a big um, hat of some kind. And um, yeah, I wasn't sure how I would... Uh, color that you know should I just color the hat or yeah because I was thinking of um kind of painting a or I was thinking of the white liner face where I would paint a white line <laughs> kind of around the hat so I needed some kind of color behind that kind of white line so yeah I was thinking of painting over the actual hat as you can see now and uh, I'm not actually sure how it turned out. So, yeah. Again, when you're trying to do more um, kind of presentation or kind of artsy kind of art stuff, <laughs> I think it's okay to be a little more expressive or... I think you should be okay with experimenting, I guess. I think that's the uh, the right way to say it. Because um, I don't think I have a solid system yet for painting or rendering fashion stuff. I mean, what I do know is that I do have some color stuff to work on. And I also have some shadow stuff where I paint in the shadows with a multiply layer. And by the way, I, I don't just use the multiply kind of effect on the shadows, but I also do them for the uh, colors. Because uh, if you use the multiplier or the multiply effect, layer effect, um, with the markers, with the marker brushes, it will actually make your rendering look more like a marker um, rendering. Because uh, Whenever you're doing it traditionally with some actual markers, you can actually see some of the kind of um, previous strokes behind your new brush stroke or your new marker stroke. So yeah, it does make it look a little more natural. So now again, I'm going for the, uh, the nose and the cheeks. And uh, I usually just leave the face white for the most part. And, uh, yeah, again, I think I'm going for that minimalist look, but, you know, you know, I am limiting myself. For example, what if, um, I'm working on a, like a darker, more brownish kind of toned, um, skin color, you know, I'm not going to paint it white, you know, I'm basically just, right now I'm just technically being lazy you know what I mean and uh, it's bad you know I have to learn how to actually render certain parts of the body say the face and shit right so yeah so I did some color adjustments I think and uh, I actually uh, reverted that back is that redundant? Uh, and because the yellows don't really look as good, I think I was, uh, I think it was just too far of the color um, spectrum. And uh, yeah. So I actually did like that kind of abstract white liner kind of a uh, thing I did with the hat. And I don't know, it looks very artsy, you know, like professional, I guess. And uh, it actually shows, it actually shows a bit of confidence, I think. 
So again, I changed back the colors because the uh, yellow was weird. And there you go. So I used the marker brush pack. And yeah. Whichever your art, whatever your tool, make it beautiful.